Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'm continuing with my thank you cards for the emergency services, shops, chemists, doctors, nurses, uh, delivery drivers even. Anybody who's continuously working throughout this hard times, um, doing a service for us. So I am making them thank you cards. I think we all should do it. Like I said in my last video, you'll be sitting at home wondering what kind of cards to make. Make thank you cards. That's all I can say. Right, continuing with the poppies, like I did in my last video, and I will do in my next video, I am going to turn this card into a thank you card. Now this card is a... Um, idea I got from Pinterest and once I find the person who did this card I will try and name them. I'm looking at my Pinterest now. Esther Stamping Star I think that might be Creations. This is where I got this idea from on P Pinterest and there it is there. She's done a few in different colours. I think that's quite nice. She obviously didn't add a sentiment on that. I did on this one. I made it into a congratulations card. But the one I'm going to make, I'm going to turn into a um, thank you card. And I've also added the splatter dots around the um, card. So for this card you will need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and a card front of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Um, when I make cards in future, I will only have a card front. I won't have it on a card base. That is so I can make sure I've got enough card to make my cards as I'm not allowed out for 12 weeks and the shop where I buy my cards from is shut so I've got to make what I've got last me as long as possible so that is what I'm going to do just use do the card front and when I get some more I have got some card bases but I want to make at least one card instead of having two full cards I'll have one full card and a card front and when everything gets back to normal, all I'll have to do is glue that on a card front. If I use a white one. Uh, if I use a coloured card base, depending on how much Stampin' Up! card I've got, whether I use a card base or not. But we'll play that by ear as I go along. So, to make this card I've used the stamp set Painted Poppies. We're going to be using that image, that image which I haven't got out yet, I have now, I don't know why that die never stays in, always falls. Right, I'm using that one, that one and that one, the two leaves, oh all three of these, everything but them ones, and I never got out that one. So, I'm also using Peaceful Moments for the thank you. So, I need... Let's take that off of there. Put that on there. That leaf can go on there. What else? Oh no, I need that for that one. And the leaf... Can I go on there? No. Uh, let's put that leaf on there. And that on there. There we are. Got enough blocks for all these stamps. So, with my card base and my Memento Black Ink, I will first lay down the 
flower on a stem. I'll turn my card side, no, I better not. Keep it up front and I'm going to stamp this at an angle up here. So I don't want it too straight. That'll do. Clean as I go along. Perfect. Then I'm going to stamp this leaf. And I'm going to stamp that there. And stamp one here and then the multi leaves or the branch leaves I'm going to stamp that now it doesn't matter if you stamp over these images because you're only going to see really the top of them stamp it there like that it's going to look a little bit of a mess underneath the poppies right I am got the splatter dots I'll turn this sideways because I want these to come out here Like that. Alright, what else do I need? Done that, done that. So that is that for that one at the moment. Get a bit of scrap. And we want one of these big puppies. And one of these smaller poppies. Doesn't matter if I've got extra of these, I have already stamped, coloured, and we will, I will cut these out afterwards. Right, with these, I have actually got. Rococo rose, I need a flirty flamingo. Right, on this card, I have got flirty flamingo, so I'll just use that again. All I did was ink up this flat one and covered it in flirty flamingo. It's not very dark this one. That's it. And then I cut them out and ended up with two flowers. I also cut out two black leaves from the Peaceful Moment die set. Right, as I've got our flirty flamingo, I've got the small splattered dots. I inked it up and I went in over the flower a few times. Same with the leaves. Just to colour them in. I don't know if the person on Pinterest did this, but that's the way I've coloured them in. And it doesn't matter if we've gone over the edge. And then we put some splatters over the card. Just 
just to add a bit of interest to the card. Um, I think that is it. Oh, no, I used the big one as well for some extra dimension. There we are. All that's left is to stamp the word Thank you, which I'm using my Versafine for, and it's here. I'm going to stamp this upside down. I'm just praying I've stamped it straight. And I have. So that is that done. Now all we've got to do is add these poppies and the black leaves underneath. Well, I'm going to glue, glue these first this time. No, I want them like that. So these will need dimensionals which I've got over there and these need gluing down. So let's move that on. And my glue bottle is starting to stick up. Three on that one. That one's going to go under there. Yeah. Right. Take these off. And place that down there like that. Place that underneath like that. And then we glue this on our card base. to um, Susie Q if you're watching this yes I do find it easier if I lift my card up card base up to stick down my card as I find I can get it straighter bringing it up to me to look at rather than look over hope that makes sense she did ask me that question um, right, and now we need some gems. So I'm just going to put three on. Put one there. One there. One over this side. I'll do the same on this one. One. So 
So there you have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cars, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.